Hello everybody! So today is Sunday Prep Week and this is what we prepared for this week. So if you guys want to know a little bit more in the process and if you guys also just want to prep with me, play this in the background while you get your stuff for the week ready, go right ahead. But without further ado, let's prep for the week! Hello everybody! Let's prep for the week with me. So I kind of already chose my outfit. This is my mom's. I got news that I have a class today, so I only have to plan two days of outfits for this week, so that's great, but yeah. Um, it's pretty, it's really cold actually today, so yeah, so I, this is my mom's, it's from TJ Maxx, $20, it's just a turtleneck with long sleeve. I don't know, I'm a little nervous to wear this because it kind of gives like Barney, I don't know, but yeah. And then I think I'm gonna wear these jeans. They're from Ross. They're not super high rise, so I'm a little kind of like, I don't know. But the detailing, it just has pockets, just plain pockets. Pretty fun, yeah. So let's start choosing our makeup. So I was kind of thinking of doing Jenny, Black Pink Jenny's Met Gala look. Like their her specifically her eyeshadow portion, minus the lavender inner corner though, which I feel like is like the main part. But yeah, so let's go over to my makeup station and let's pick up some eyeshadows. And we are at my makeup station. So I've never shown you guys this before, but this is my makeup station. These are boxes filled with eyeshadow blushes uh this one has some mirrors and yeah it's a little bit more cluttered because i have been cleaning over my winter break so stuff isn't all organized yet so this is supposed to be here like this stuff but yeah oh i have like my base lotions here because they they do take up a lot of space like look how huge these things are oh i got a new one too i want to show you guys it i was gonna make a new semester new items but i actually got sick so i couldn't film that so i didn't leave my house so i have there's still some stuff that i haven't even bought so i got this new one it's suave revitalizing lotion vitamin blend it smells really good uh, this smells like sunshine in a bottle you know but like base lotion sunshine it smells really really good i highly recommend this one I feel like only certain Walmarts have this because the one that I always go to didn't have it, but then the one where I bought that one did. So yeah. Um, so let's do eyeshadows. So I have my little portion here. This is where I have my brushes. I'm gonna look for some purpley brushes. I don't even think I have any actually. I like I mentioned I got sick, so a lot of my brushes are dirty these are dirty ones that i need to wash and then i have other ones that are like right there uh. so how have you guys been i have not filmed in overall a month i finished uploading everything and yeah so but i'm a little awkward more than usual i apologize i have not filmed in a month i don't i had to like debrief for a second because I literally had no idea what to do but yeah so I honestly do not see any brushes here yeah I literally don't see any purple brushes okay so I'm gonna pick out some brushes and I'll be right back Okay, so I ended up choosing these brushes. I'll show you guys them in the Get Ready With Me more. I'm gonna put them in here right now before they like get dirty. This is a bag that I just have 
stuff that I need to, I really want to finish up this year and I want to use this semester. I packed this up last night while I was cleaning. So, yeah. Let's pick up eyeshadow now. So if we take a closer look at Jenny's Met Gala look, it's like a mauve pink, but depending on the photo and the lighting, it looks different, but it looks more mauve so I was kind of thinking, because I don't want to be too out there type of makeup look, which is why I chose Jenny's look. I've also just been into more lighter makeup, so, so this is the color of my shirt, so I'm thinking maybe... Maybe this one. Let's see. This is the LA Girl. What is this? So sweet. They're five pan palettes. These are so cute. I feel like they needed more of like these two. I only have these two. There's a couple of them. I really feel like they missed the opportunity to come out with more. This will be an option. This one's a little more too reddish. Um, let's see. Oh, this is C Color Crystal Pink. I really wanted to use this uh, shadow today, but I couldn't find an outfit, or I couldn't think of an outfit. Because I, the other day, I really wanted to wear, before I got sick, I really wanted to wear these two shades together. I mean, maybe this one. I feel like this one, the shade Aura, kind of matches Jenny's look. Because she has like a shimmer and a glitter. I don't remember how Aura looks. I have used it, I believe, in a past Get Ready With Me. I just don't really remember. I have no idea what makeup to use, y'all. I really don't. You know what, I kind of want to do, instead of these two, I kind of want to do this too. So it's going to be, maybe I won't do the Jenny Matt Gala look. I think I'll use these two. Oh, I also have this Galaxy palette. Oh, I feel like that's way too pinky. Mm. I have one glitter palette from Profusion. None of these go with this. I'm so sad about these. I don't know if they don't make them anymore. I've had this for a while. They're really, really good. I don't know if that happened to them. I... I haven't seen anything new from them, actually. I was really hoping they would come out with a Valentine's Day collection, like a really cute art one. Like, I was so hoping for it. But I guess not. Really unfortunate, to be honest. Is this one oh, it's really brown and taupey. Mm. Is this one here. Oh, this one's really pretty. This is whoop. Where's this from actually? I don't even remember. Oh, I have Revolution. It's so cute. It's such a cute little palette. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of this one. Like a cute little moment. But all. Mm, I'm kind of want to use this tomorrow in tomorrow's look. Or not to Yeah, actually tomorrow. Yeah. For tomorrow's outfit. Because I'll show you guys. I already chose the outfit. But yeah. So I'm going to put this to the side. Because I'm thinking of wearing that for tomorrow. Let's see. Honestly, y'all, I have no idea. I'm really nervous because this is the first time back. And I got noticed last night that I had to be here. Luckily, it's an afternoon class, so I was able to see the email. But I really don't want to go. I am so nervous. I feel like I'm getting the first day jitters. Ugh, I don't want to go. But yeah. And then I have this drawer. I feel like there's really nothing here though. Oh, I kind of want this one to see this one. 
Mm, no. I don't really know what I want to do, to be honest. These W7 ones are just so pretty. And I can't find them anywhere. I used to get these at Five Below. I only managed to get two. I have another one. It's like a dark burnt red one. I don't know where that one went. But, yeah. To be honest, you know the one that will, like, never let me down is this coconut one which is dirty i heart tasty coconut this one just doesn't let me down it's just such a go-to i think i will use this as well let me take that out okay so i think that's honestly it for my eyeshadow i'm gonna use this for maybe tomorrow's look but this is what we got so far and now let's choose blushes Okay, so I actually have a blush box here. These are broken items that I need to fix. I refuse to throw them away. So I'm gonna put that to the side. These are just like, I don't even know. This came from like an AOA thing that I bought. It's like those, when you buy those like palettes and stuff. The, oh, I don't even know, what, the, what are they called? They basically just makeup palettes. You put like, liquid a lot of makeup artists use them okay i'm gonna take my blush box over here in the lighting okay so oh i might as well just show you guys i don't think i've ever shown you guys this is my blush box it's a hella kitty one i got this from mini so a while ago or my sister bought it for me but yeah um for blue well, let's see so we have these as our eyeshadows. I'm really leaning towards this like more pinkish brownish and then this pink and then a little bit of this rosy pink with a hint of like blue shift. It looks different in this lighting. Yeah. But then this one's just really pretty. Unless this might be for tomorrow's look as well. I'm not sure yet. And then obviously our Tasty Coconut palette. Like, she's just, it's so pretty. Or maybe I will decide if once I choose a blush. This one just fits it so well. This is the ColourPop. After all, Happiest Cruise. I haven't used this. I have not put on makeup in a while. I have, I've been wanting to use this one so long. This is a PYT blush in Hot Flush Blush and Exhale. It's a really, really pretty pale pink. It's very, very pale. Uh, a little like a warmer type of pale pink, like peachy. Not very milky. I hate that the camera just doesn't pick up things. Okay, I think, yeah, this is the most accurate it's gonna look. Very, very pretty. Mm. Honestly, if anything, I'm gonna go with, I probably will just use this. Honestly, I'm probably gonna use this. The Rose Ink Blush in the shade Camellia. You guys always know that's just a go-to, to be honest. I put it in here so that I stop reaching for it, but honestly, I'm probably going to use it today. I think I'm going to use this for next week. I kind of have an idea for what outfit I want to wear next week, so I'll probably use that. Um, these are so pretty. These are the AOA Perfect Blush. These are the shades Darling and delight they're very very pretty they're very very pale colors they're one of my favorites because they're very light they're more like um what are they called what do i call them like these are the, like transitioning type of blushes the ones that blend out these are just my blending type of blushes have three of them. I really hate how the camera's just like not picking them up well. 
Like, I really feel like you guys are, like, this looks brown on camera and it's not. It's like a peachy. Maybe if I take off the lid. It's a lot more pinky in person. It's looking brownish, almost golden. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's not looking the way that it like looks in real life, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna go instead with this one mod these two and yeah and then I should probably start looking for my now that I have my box here for tomorrow's look okay so let's now move on to lips Okay, so I have my two Hello Kitty tins. I have my, my other ones in the other part of my room, but I want to see what I have in here. I, this is on my project pen. I really need to use this up. It's really, really gross and old. I do not like this packaging for NARS. I feel like it just gets so dirty and it doesn't, it doesn't come off easily. Mm. Can I use this berry one. I got this from TJ Maxx. It was a set of the other ones in there. It's a really pretty berry color. Super pretty. It is kind of out there, which is kind of fine because we are doing such a natural, more, well, more lighter blush and eyeshadow combo. I think I am going to use these two, three, so, this will be fine. So, that's an option. And I think that's kind of it for this box. Now, these are my bullet lipsticks. Mm. Honestly, none of these really look appealing. I really don't, honestly. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, I really feel like there's nothing in here that I would want to use. So. I think for lip, it's just going to be... Well, I have here. Let me grab my makeup bag. Okay, so I brought my Hello Kitty makeup bag because I have some lips. I actually cleaned it and I cleaned everything. I wiped everything down. Also, like, residue and stuff. Like, the oiliness and stuff. So, I have, like, essentials in here that I know I always reach for. And I have this, like, lip portion. I need to replace some of these. Some of these are just, like, these were, like, lip combos. And I just never took them out. Mm. I think this will also be an option. This is always an option. That's always in there. So I was this. This is the only lip tint that I have, other than the berry one and then the red ones. I lost my two pink ones. I have no idea where they went. I think I'm just gonna buy a replacement of them because I cannot find them anywhere. But I'm still in the middle of cleaning my room, so they might appear somewhere. But yeah, so it's the Cinnamon Dreams. You guys already know. So I'm thinking of this, a really light layer, just color basically. And then doing this berry one. And then if it's too much, I go in with this in the middle. So this will be a lip combo for the day. And I think that's it. This accidentally fell out of the box. This is a... I don't think I want to use this one. Okay, so let's look at what we got and then we can start planning for the next day. Okay, so here we have our outfit. 
and let's start off with our eyeshadow so I am really thinking of just doing this shade first and then going on from there so I'm thinking this one and then since this looks really light I'm thinking of going in with this one and then going in with this one and this one that's really what I'm thinking of but honestly we won't really know until we actually apply it because I honestly I don't really remember how these actually apply once they're on the skin you know how sometimes eyeshadows just look different so yeah I just realized that this isn't labeled like I don't have it labeled I need to look for the date of this and label it and yeah so that's an option so many of that and then for our blushes we have two our rose ink and our AOA perfect blush in the shade mod and for lip we have elf lip tint in cinnamon dreams or is it cinnamon dreams or cinnamon swirl I don't even know what is this what are you glossy lip stain in cinnamon dreams yes okay and then we have Fenty cream in the shade Fenty glow and then we have this random lip tint from lip tint lip gloss from TG Maxx that I got honestly years ago I probably shouldn't be using these but they're still good and they still smell good so I'm gonna use them and then I have this little bag of stuff that I really need to use up like some of these are little like I have these like these are this one's really dry I want to use it but this one still has some so I'm thinking because I want to start using this I think I'm going to use this NYX glitter to add some glitter so I think I'm actually going to reach for that and then for brows I have this Ioni perfect brow pal little palette yeah because I really want to just use this up to be honest Oh, and I ended up finding my lash curler. I lost this like a really long time ago. I need to clean it though. I didn't have enough time to wipe this down, but I have, I bought a new one. I finally bit the bullet and I bought a new one about two weeks ago and it works really well. But now I know that I have another one. So that's good. And I bought one for myself for Christmas as well. And yeah. Mm, I think that's it. I have some stuff here that I really want to use up, but I just don't want to use them up today. Oh, and then I found this Rimmel powder. I have not used this in a while. I forgot that I had this. Oh, and I have this lip mask or lip balm. I really want to start using this so I can get rid of it. I need to buy a little like lip thingy so that I'm not always like just picking at this, you know? Actually, before now that I'm remembering, in this little, little kitty box, I have lip balms that I really want to use up. I have these ones. I also have a Nivea one. I don't know where those... Those are in my other Hello Kitty tin. I have these ones. I think for the soap, I'm going to use this one. These are from the 99 cents store as well. This is the Sheer Moisture Lip Stain in Cherry. They're really cool, but they're clear. And then I think they like go to the pH and stuff. They're really cool. They're from the 99 cent store. I haven't seen them in years. I got this a while ago. I'm so sad. I only have two of these. I remember there was a in between these two, there's a pink one. It was a watermelon. And I never bought it. I never went back to the 99 cent store. Now they don't have them. So now I'm really sad about it. So total sign note, but yeah. And yeah, so now we are ready for today. And now it's prep for tomorrow. Oh wait, no, we're not done. We still have a fragrance. Hold on. Okay, so I was actually thinking, because, you know, I want to make a nice first impression. So this is a late lecture class, so I want to make a good impression. And then I'm, this is like, I think it's very group heavy. This is not for my major. It's just some, I don't even know what it is. It's script writing, I think. I don't want to go, but yeah. So I was thinking of Burberry her because it just doesn't let me down. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wear this next week. Uh, but I don't know if I just want to wear this. 
I'm really thinking of just wearing this to be honest but without like a full combination just this and then a base lotion I don't know so I'm still not sure about the fragrance portion of this but I'm really leaning towards Burberry hair I feel like that's just not gonna let me down I actually have a box here of my deodorants oh wait actually let me put this back where it goes where I just have all my deodorants so I'm thinking of going in oh I also I replaced this one the Shea Butter one so I have a new one now and then I just recently bought this one again the green tea cucumber I don't know if I've ever owned this one I swear I did but I have no idea if I was just like like that actually didn't happen and I just like thought it did because I don't have any idea where this is because I know I never finished it if I did have it but anyway anyways that's besides the point so I'm thinking of using this rose petal one for sure I ran out of my lavender one the purple one so I threw that out already so I need to buy a replacement of that one and then I have a pomegranate one that's in the bathroom my sister uses it and yeah so I'm thinking yeah so I'm thinking of, yeah I'm just gonna use this one so honestly this is what we have so far for our fragrance combination obviously our pink baby oil as well obviously we're gonna go in with our pink baby oil so I have this from Nivea Cherry Blossom. I don't know if it'll go with it though. I really want to start using it. I remember I bought this because everyone like really liked it for um what is it? I remember I bought this because a lot of people really like this for the Sol de Janeiro Cheriosa. But I don't know if I want to wear this. I don't know if it goes with this. So I feel like this is also very versatile, but it does have like strawberry, like you can smell it. Or actually, no. Actually, hold on. Okay, because I don't want something super heavy. Because I told you guys, I was sick. I got, like, really badly sick. So, like, it was bad. And I'm still not ready for smells. So, I have this uh, Strawberry Milk Body Lotion. It's very, very light. I love this brand. It is so good. I specifically love these. I do not like the body wash of this do not get the body wash of this the body wash of this smells like expired yogurt i don't know what it is i don't know what they did to it but it literally every time i've smelled it i was like why does this smell like expired yogurt but this doesn't like like it doesn't even once you apply it on the skin it just doesn't smell like that like yogurt scent so i applied some on my arm and it just like i don't get that width of it it smells really good yeah i don't know where that other i don't know what the body wash smells like expired yogurt but don't get the body wash don't do it but this smells really good So I'm thinking of that because I'm still like a little more sensitive to smells still. And then just top it off with Burberry hair. This smells very like like soda like sometimes. Like like in the cap. I don't know. It's, this smells like a higher end version of Sol de Janeiro Cheriosa sometimes. But then other times it smells very berry like ever happening guys okay so i think we got our i think we're ready i think we're ready for the day i don't really have like a set base lotion but i think i'm just gonna use this because i I, t I told y'all i'm so a little sensitive to smells so yeah so let's start prepping for tomorrow now we're set i'm ready to get ready i have to get ready soon actually so let's prep quickly for tomorrow kind of already have an idea like, I already had a set idea for tomorrow. Because tomorrow, like, I actually have a whole bunch of, like, I go to multiple places tomorrow. So, uh, the outfit is worth it. And it's cute. 
but today is just one late night lecture and I don't want to go like I dread going honestly I think I just wasn't prepared because my idea was that I wasn't supposed to go back yet to class but turns out that I do so that's besides the point let's get ready for tomorrow's outfit because tomorrow's outfit is actually gonna be really cute so I'll be back okay everybody I am back so this is tomorrow's outfit it's really really cute it's this purple cardigan well purple tur turtleneck cardigan I got this at Dee Dee's for $7.99 and then I have these cargo pants that I really do need to iron once I get home. But yeah, you guys have seen these before. So I'm going to wear this and this. Honestly, I really hope this fits. <laughs> I gained, I, pretty, I ate a lot during the winter break. So I feel like I gained a little bit. So <laughs> I'm praying, manifesting that it works. Okay, so I kind of already had like a really pretty idea for this. Um... I'm thinking very like neutral and brown, but a pop of glitter, purpley, pretty. It's gonna be very, very pretty. Like I'm gonna feel very pretty in this. Very pretty makeup, honestly. So the first palette is going to be Profusion Moonstone. I'm thinking of taking the very light brown shades camera doesn't pick it up the way that it does but I'm gonna use this one it's like a taupey brownish shade and then this one to blend everything out it's a lighter shade and then use this as my darkest one and then if that's a little bit too light it's not as dark once it's on the skin I'm gonna go in with this one like this is very basically everything is here the base colors are here I also haven't used this one as much and I really want to use it because I've had it since 12 28 2022 so it's been a moment and i literally untouched and so either that one i was really thinking that one or i was thinking this one this is perfusion afternoon tea i was i love this palette this palette is so so pretty it's so pretty to me absolutely adore it so i was thinking when when it was this shade when it was this palette because i was thinking this one last night because i already kind of had an idea in my head i was gonna go in with roll and then this one and then this one and then for the middle i was gonna do this one it's more of a darker purple but i think i remember when i swatched this one it's not it doesn't actually look like this it's a lot lighter and then mix these two glitters so I'm thinking, I'm still thinking of that. So these are the two palettes that I'm going to use for tomorrow. My two options. Because I was really thinking this one. This is the, the LA Girl one for, for today's outfit. I was thinking of this one for tomorrow as well. Well, mainly just this glittery shade. As a base shade for these glitters. Since I'm going to mix them too. Because it kind of has both, just in a shimmer, glittery form. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to use this for today. So I'm going to use this for tomorrow's look. So these are tomorrow's op options. And then for blush, I was thinking of these two. This is my cream one. This is the Morphe Blush balm in the shade electric lavender i have such a memory for this because i bought this for my birthday last year i like i really love this thing it's super super cute super super fun and it's just purple really really cute so i'm thinking of this one for sure like as a deeper to add a little bit more depth to my blush but for sure i'm gonna go in tomorrow with the rose ink camellia blush this is just this is a staple I really feel like I'm gonna fully use this up like it just goes for tomorrow as well so I'm gonna reuse this one tomorrow as well and then for powder I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced uh Love Flesh and Dream Lover I don't even know if they make this anymore I have it labeled here old before 2020 like this is 
old. I that, like I don't remember when this was from. I remember I got this at TJ Maxx in a like a set, and then it had lip injections. It was like the lip injection type of era, so it's old. This is really gross. I have not used this in a while. But the last time I used, I think I haven't used this in like a year. I don't think I used it at all last semester. And it's really gross. Because I would use like a big fluffy brush. It's super pretty though. But yeah. So these are my options. So this is going to be it for tomorrow. So this one is really easy to use. Like plan out because I already had an idea in my head. And then now let's move on for lips. So I'm thinking lips, we're going to go in again with Cinnamon Dreams as the lightest layer ever. Oh, and one more thing but for an extra powder blush because this was really, really light. I'm going to use this more in the center of my face, like a, almost like a highlighter. But we're going to go in with AOA Perfect Mod because I feel like these two are my favorite combinations. Literally, I'm going to reuse them. Like They're, they're going to be for today and tomorrow, so love them so much and oh and i also really want to use bronzer tomorrow so i'm going to use this butter bronzer this is really really old i need to use this up which is why it's in my like little hello kitty bag here so i'm going to actually like use this tomorrow i don't think i'm going to use this for today's look but i am going to use it for tomorrow and then i think for just in case if the glitters don't fully appear I'm going to use the NYX glitter as well, liner for tomorrow as well. And now let's start choosing for lip. For lip, I I only came up with this as a base shade because I was looking for pinkies up everywhere. I just, I can't find it. I have no idea where it went. So I was thinking more of like a pretty, pretty pinkish lip. Like almost like a... Honestly, I was really thinking of like the bunny tongue trend thing. Because I just think that's like such a pretty pink. And I don't really. Like, I really want. Where is it? It's right here. I want this shade in a just. A lipstick and I don't have it but I think this would go on top of this really well honestly I'm really thinking the Fenty cream was just gonna be the one but I feel like it's a little too more peachy pink than pretty pink does that make sense like I have like a, a whole look in my head I just don't have a lot of the products to execute it well you know so here so i have my big makeup case of lipsticks and lip glosses i really feel like there's nothing in here i have this these you know how i told you like these don't really work really well that's why i don't really want to use them Honestly, I really feel like this one. This is the Sephora Glossed in the shade Buoy. So, let me put that as an option. And then... Yeah, honestly, I really feel like, like that's it. Like this one, I, rem I know this doesn't come off. Actually, no. You know what? We're going to put that as an option. This is the C color glossier lipstick in the shade 08. It doesn't have a shade name. I want I don't know if you guys have seen C color's newest Instagram post. So it seems like they're coming back. I have no idea if they're coming back, but they said that they're putting something on Amazon, one of the their palettes, and I hope that means that they might come back. Um, what is this? I really kind of want to use this, but this is a moussey one. Like, it moves a lot. Depending. Hmm. You know what? We'll put this as an option. This will. This is the Car Beauty Lit Mousse in the shade Deer. 
it moves a lot that's why i don't really want to use it because it doesn't go i feel like the, this gloss is really nice but this one if i use this one this one's gonna start getting that patchiness and then this one's super nice but i don't know if i want to go in with this one because these two are really similar and this one's a little too lighter so i'm thinking i think this for sure i'm gonna use like no matter what as the lightest thinnest layer for to even up my lip tone and then go in with one of these and yeah so honestly this one's really really cool tone it's hard to make a lip combination with that honestly i really feel like that's it and yeah so i think that's it for our makeup I think we have we have our eyeshadow, we have our blushes, we have our bronzer, lip product, an extra glitter part. Yeah. Oh, we need our brushes as well. And our fragrance combination. So let's get our brushes. So sadly, I think I am gonna use all the purple ones today. Or actually no. Okay, so the brushes that I chose for today I'm gonna use them tomorrow instead I'm gonna choose new brushes for today's look instead so today's look since it's really really simple I'm going to get a primer brush a blending brush um let's see I can probably get a, this will be a base brush, liner, and inner corner. And then I need a lower lash line as well. This will be the lower lash line. And yeah, okay, so do I have an inner corner? Yes, I do. I'm going to use this one as an inner corner and a shimmer brush because I don't have inner corner brushes. I need a wash line. I have a lot of stuff that I need to wash. Okay, so I have brushes for today. Oh, I forgot. I literally took this palette out because I wanted to use this. You know what? I'm going to put this as an option. This shimmer one. We're going to put that as an option. Okay, so now we are basically ready for today and tomorrow. Uh, for fragrance combination today, I already had an idea of what I wanted to use. Remember I showed you guys I hauled this Halloween one? So I'm really thinking of this one. I have a couple of options for today. Unfortunately, sadly, I don't have the deodorant that I want to go with this. But yeah, so I have multiple options. Yeah, I need to put my brushes down somewhere. I don't want them to get dirty. Okay, so my for sure base lotion is going to be Avena Stress Relief. I'm going to look for my lavender baby oil. Or maybe I don't know where it is. To be honest, I don't know where it went. I found it. Remember I said I like lost it? I found it and then I don't know where it went again. Like, I really do just have stuff everywhere. Oh, wait, I found it. It's right here. Okay. Found it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my lavender oil, and then this is my base lotion. And then perfume, I have multiple options. So I have this Halloween one. And then I have this lilac body mist. And then I have this moonlight body mist. I have the perfume of this. Or my sister has it. So I will take her perfume. And then I also have REM. And then my sister owns REM. So I might just take that. So I'm going to decide tomorrow. But these are our options. And I think that's honestly it. So thank you guys so much for getting... I was about to say, I was about to say, thank you for getting ready with me. Thank you for being with me while we prep for the end of this week, the chaos of this week. So, yeah, so this is it.
and I'm going to be getting ready soon, so stay tuned for I get ready. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Sunday to prep for the next week. Okay, bye! And this is our final prep for this week. We have two days worth of prep, so this is the end result. So thank you guys so much for prepping with me. And yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.